So thanks for coming uh, to the uh, first talk at the breakout hall. So today I'm gonna talk about the uh, Casper implementation and uh, the uh, I will update the latest status of the development that in our research team. Okay, about me. So actually I'm um, I'm Chang Wu Chen. So right now I'm working uh, in Vitalik three research team as a Israel uh, researcher. So. Actually, my background is coming from uh, security and uh, privacy, and most of the focus on the wire wireless networks and the vehicular networks. So I'm also a Taipei Israel MIA organizer. So if you have any chance to come visit Taipei, maybe you can contact with me directly, then I will happy to have you um, have a presentation there. And so right now I'm working on a Casper. So that's why today I'm mean to give you a brief introduction on, uh, on what we are uh, going right now. And I also use PyCRN and the Pi's app to, I mean, develop Casper. So the right corner actually is our Taiwan's logo, a Taiwan Island's logo. It's made by the Israel. So it's, it's designed by a startup company called Ami, uh, which is also from Taiwan. OK, so why is Casper? Um, so Casper actually is a next, next generation uh, consensus port, uh, proof, proof stack consensus protocol uh, in Ethereum. So it means uh, it says it's a deposit based means that you need to put your deposit into the smart contract, uh, so then you can become a validator, and now and so you can start to vote for a particular uh, checkpoint. So why is this, uh, why do we need to have a deposit into the smart contract? Because it, because the validator could do some bad things. So if they do some bad thing, we can delete their uh, deposit. And also, it's uh, the proof of stake is based on the Byzantine for torrents, uh, for torrents. Uh, so that means that uh, if more than two third validator follow the protocol, then no competition block uh, will be finalized. Otherwise, I mean, if the majority is less than two thirds, that means the system will get stuck. So this is called li like a liveness, and this is a kind of situation we want to avoid. So I think maybe it kind of confusing, but right now we have two kinds of version of Casper in our internal research team, and the one is designed by Vitalik. We call it uh, Casper uh, Friendly Finality Gadget, uh, Casper FFG. And also we have another uh, Casper design, which is by uh, Vela, uh, which is called Casper CBC. I think he will have a uh, presentation this afternoon. So yeah, Velas uh, Casper design is super cool. So I yeah, so don't miss it. So today I, I want to I want to give you a brief introduction of um, how does Casper work. Um, yeah, because I I think uh, people have already learned some of Casper work. Uh, uh, on our wiki or on some of the article, but because we have two versions of Casper, I mean, uh, two of, um, implementations, so it's kind of confusing. So today I just want to introduce you the Casper FFG. So hopefully, hopefully after this uh, presentation, I can make you to uh, the Casper more friendly today. Okay, so what is the advantage of the Casper? So basically, because it's a proof of stake uh, protocol, uh, it doesn't like it is not like the proof of work. So it means that you don't need to buy uh, the hardware uh, to have more. I mean, computation power uh, to to solve the problem that we call the mining. So you can get a reward from the proof of work. So it is kind of like uh, you know the wasting some electricity. So for the Green purpose, so this is why we want to have a proof of stake. Uh, we want to have a Casper uh, because it's more energy efficiency. And the second reason we want to have a Casper is because it's economic finality. It's a pretty, I mean, novelty concept uh, of the Casper because just like as I said before, because you need to put your deposit into the smart contract. So once you 
you the validator misbehave, then we can delete or slash their deposit on the smart contract. But you know, in the proof of work, um, even even the miner have uh, more than you know fifty one percent computation power. You cannot just punish punish them. You what you can do is just fork the chain. Okay, the third reason is we want to reduce the risk of centralization. Because in the proof of stake is, um, the, the vote weight is actually is uh, dollar by dollar, dollar by dollar. It means that if you pay one dollar, you, you only can, I mean, get the one dollar um, benefit. Uh, but in the proof of work, if you have more, if you have uh, pretty high computation power, it means once, if you, Later, if you want to have more computation power, the price you need to pay or the cost you need to pay is quite cheaper. So that, this is very different from the proof of work. Okay, so yeah. So, and I think that we need to know this is because this is a bit time for tolerance uh, based. So yeah, uh, once again, more than two, two serve validators need to follow the protocol. Uh, so no conflicting blocks will be finalized. And we need to keep in mind because validator could misbehave. So they maybe want to try to uh, get the system stuck or maybe they will, I mean, split into two groups. And in each two groups, um, the board weight maybe is draw, so the system can get stuck. So yeah, we, we, we um, as for this kind of situation, we need to avoid. So why is the challenge of the Casper? So basically our goal is to want to have an ever-growing canonical chain just like we have uh, in proof of work. So the block could be coming one by one. So everybody will see the same chain. Uh, that means we can have a data consist consistency. However, you know, um, because this is very different from the proof of work because everybody need to reach the consensus. So in the proof of work, if there exists only one miner, even he has a very low computation power, he can still solve the problem. Maybe it just take a long time. But in the proof of stake, um, if the validator uh, do some kind of misbehavior or they, or malfunction, then the system could, I mean, get stuck. So uh, the challenge problem we need to solve, uh, to, to solve is accountable safety and the plausible liveness, and I will uh, explain them later. So, okay. So now I will give you, so what is validator? How to become a participant into the Casper? So if you want to, uh, start to run in a Casper, you need to become a validator. So right now, um, any ESA holder can become a validator. So for example, if you have a, if we can set a fixed amount of ESA, like a threshold um, to make you become a validator, like maybe uh, $5,000 uh, $5, ESAs. So if you have 5,000 ESA, you can become one of the validator. So basically, uh, if you want to become a validator, you can just send a request message to the smart contract uh, here. Then you put your money inside. So the smart contract actually will record your signature. And also, it will record you how many deposits you put into the smart contract. So it could be used to, I mean, used to reward or used to penalize. So what is the law uh, of the validator? So just like I mentioned before, the validator's job is to reach a consensus via a uh, vote. So each time when, when, when the validator see the checkpoints uh, uh, is generating, so they will vote for the checkpoint. So, because, uh, so yeah, be because the checkpoints will come one by one, so validator each time in, they will vote for the checkpoint. However, um, sometimes because uh, the chain could be fork, uh, so maybe uh, the validator could see uh, two different uh, checking points hash from uh, 
at the same at in the same round. So like this. If the if if here the, the vote weight of the validator uh, is more than two third, then this system will be fine because the system could work. Yeah, because this is a bit present time for tolerance feature. However, if uh, the validator split into the two groups and each two group each two groups are less than two third, then system will be I mean stuck. So this uh yeah that this is all, this is the problem we need to uh, avoid. Oops, oops. Sorry. Okay, so what is the vote weight? So actually, the um, the vote weight is not every everyone has the same vote weight. It's actually it's pro proportional to the dip the total deposit size. That um, the deposit size. Okay, so let me give a a, a example. So here we have uh, five validators, and each one have ten dollar, thirty dollar, ten ten and forty. So that means they do not have the same vote weight. The, the, the vote weight should be one, one, two, three, two, one, two, one, and two, four. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what is the, uh, so what is the validator's job? So if they vote for the particular checkpoint, if this checkpoint is getting finalized, then they, the, the validator can get the reward. Um, And in our smart contract, um, we need we, we uh, because in each time validator can request could send a request message to say, hey, I want to join uh, into the Casper uh, to get the reward or being a validator. So uh, we will have a time period. So every time you can send a request. But also, if you think that uh, the investment into the into the uh, Casper is not worthy uh, to do that. Also, you can make a request to different group. So it's more like a dynamic validator, validator set. Okay, so um, we, right now the Casper is called uh, hybrid Casper. That is because uh, when we see the, uh, because uh, the validator need to vote for the checkpoints. So actually, where is the uh, checking point from? At right now, because we are laying POS on top of POW, means the checking point actually is coming from the POW. So um, every every 100 blocks uh, would, could be a, a time of a period. We call it an epoch. And then in each epoch, we will have a checking point Check a point here. So this is the validator they need to vote for. Okay. And uh, why we want to do the hybrid Casper? Uh, one, the other reason is we want to incentive miner to migrate to POS more sm smoothly. Uh, because uh, we can, if, if they, they, they are doing the proof of work, uh, the reward they can get maybe is less than the reward they can get from the POS. So they c this can make them, I mean, um, have an incentive to move, to migrate to POS. So we want to, ho hopefully we want to make a, 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 a canonical chain and the checking point could be finalized one by one. Uh, the more, uh, more checkpoints are getting finalized, that means that we can guarantee the more secure this system could, uh, could, could have. Okay, so let's di go uh, deeper into the vote. So what is vote? Vote is uh, basically uh, uh, the basic element into the smart contract. So just like I, I mentioned before, every validator, uh, every validator, they have a different vote weight. So, but each time when they uh, vote for a particular checkpoint, this kind of vote will record into the smart contract. So how does uh, the vote um, stands for and how, how does it go? So in our system uh, implementation, we, 
uh, we will have a vote message, a vote message. And this uh, vote message will have four parameters. So the first is uh, the, the epoch, epoch, tar uh, epoch target and the hash target and the epoch source and the hash source. So let me give you an example of what, what does it mean. So each time when um, the checkpoint is, is gener uh, the, when the new checkpoint is generating, so uh, the, vo the validator could see the new uh, checkpoint. So they, if they want to vote for a particular uh, checkpoint, they need to uh, include their, its, its target and its source. So what does ta target means? It means I want to vote this target checkpoint. So basically its hash is 1A5B and its epoch is equal to, and which is a reference from uh, the source. Uh, G is, uh, stands for uh, genetic block, uh, which the hash is H5 and in each epoch, in epoch one. So the vote measure is kind of like, uh, it, it need to include the, the target hash and its source hash. And this is also a, a valid uh, vote message. Yeah, you can vote from here to here. And here is the source, and this is the target. Yep. Okay, so here we see the, there is a, a red a curve here. So let me, we call it a supermajority link. So what does the supermajority link? If we have a checkpoint which has a target and the source, just like that, target and source. So the validator, if they uh, vote for this checkpoint, and two, uh, more than two thirds validator vote for this checkpoint, then that means this is a supermajority link. Yeah, this is also a supermajority link. So we also define uh, justify checkpoints. What does that mean? Okay, so the first definition, the generalist is always justified and finalized. So, I, so here we will say G is uh, justified. So here, we, 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 uh, if the validator votes for this, uh, for this checking point, uh, because this is coming from the two-third two validator, uh, I mean, this is coming from the uh, justified checkpoint. So that means if this checkpoint is is uh, is also have a two of a two third of metadata vote for that means that this checkpoint is getting justified. Uh, I think the color here should be a pink. <laughs> okay. So why is a finalized checkpoint? Okay. So basically, the uh, finalized checkpoint is means that if we have a checking a uh, justified checking point here. And uh, we could have another ch uh, justified checking point here, and which is direct, which is a direct child of the previous checking point, uh, justified checking points. Then this checking point will get uh, will get finalized. So this is the definition. It's just like a recursive. I mean, you can recursively do that if it, uh, the checking point is net is the, the uh, is one by one like that. So for the summary, this is the hybrid uh, Casper. So yeah, hopefully we want to have a uh, lot of a uh, finality checkpoint like this. Uh, so every 100 blocks or we call epoch, then the checkpoint will get finalized. So let's talk about the misbehavior. So um, the thing uh, I talk, uh, Right now uh, is just a normal situation of how does uh, Casper, I mean, how does uh, the, the validator vote? So let's talk about if the validator could be a bad guy or they, or they could be uh, do some bad thing. So how do we deal with that? Okay, so re re reminder that uh, I mentioned that because the validator, uh, if you want to become a validator, you need to put your deposit. So when you put your deposit, you also, that also means you put your signature and uh, your deposit address uh, record into the smart contract. So that means we could have uh, uh, each 
validator's identity. So once they uh, do some misbehavior, then we can slash their deposit. Okay, so this is the definition of the accountable safety. So at least uh, one third of total deposit will be slashed if two conflicting uh, checkpoints are finalized. Um, this is because uh, sometimes, uh, unfortunately, if the, uh, there are two checkpoints are getting finalized, that means each checking point has, has two thirds of, of voting weight. So that means we, get, we need to get uh, one third of uh, deposit be slashed. So what, what we need to avoid is we need to avoid the double vote. It means that the validator could not vote uh, for the se different uh, checkpoints in the same epoch. Uh, this is an example. Just don't control yourself with the same round. And another situation what to avoid is a, is a kind of a surround vote. So assume here, so you, you have a already uh, make a vote from here to here, from this is the source, this is the target. So how could you make another vote from here to here? Because you have already know this is a justified checking point. You sh this should, if you want to make another vote from here to here, you should be vote, uh, you should use this as a source and this is a target. So this is a, uh, the, the illustration to show that once uh, the validator find another one uh, make a misbehavior, he can send a mis misbehavior report into the smart contract. And then uh, if this is true, then this, this validator who do the double vote, the, the, uh, its deposit will be slashed. And uh, this validator will give some small portion of uh, reward. Okay, so this is a po uh, possible liveness because I, I, I'm running out of time, so I will just do a pretty quick uh, finish. Uh, so I, I just want to mention, uh, here I do not have a very, I mean, verification because uh, in this afternoon, Yoichi will do the verify uh, Casper. If you are interested in uh, its correctness, you can just follow his talk. Also, uh, so I will, give you, I will give you the update of our status. Uh, so basically, we will have a smart contract which will manage the uh, dynamic validator set, and also all of the votes record will be recorded in each epoch. And we have stage condition inside the smart contract. That means uh, each validator, if you find that someone uh, do some bad, bad thing, then they uh, could be punished. Right? So this is our POC file, and we call Casper FFG contract, and we also have a testing language for simulation, and all, all we. And later, we, we want to uh, have a test technique to ev evaluate the correctness. However, we do not have a particular data to I mean, uh, announce that this is done. Because this is also a research, uh, ongoing research. So if you are interested in uh, the Casper, you can, uh, uh, yeah, you can, you can yeah, pick some of the reading from here. And yeah, this is our HR team. And most of the people are from Taiwan. And Virgil is from Singapore, and this is our, our team leader, Vitalik. And Xiao Wei and the Kevin right now, they are doing the sharding. And Chang, uh, me, me and uh, I, Chang, Nicholas and I and Kyle are doing uh, Casper, and Zhu Chen will, will develop Plasma later. And this is our research team picture. And so, thanks for listening. Good job.